Jonas Emlin, Yori Letera, and Siber lace him up against Denis Repov and Akbars. We pick it up at 1-1. Still in the first, Siber is on the power play. Nikita Zaitsev passes it to Alexander Kutuzov. He shoots and scores two on Siber. That's his second of the season. Apart from Zaitsev, Lechter also picked up an assist here. That's his 23rd of the season. Exactly one minute later, Sabir is on the power play again. Clock is winding down. Alexei Kopekin feeds Viktor Drugov in front and he sends a blazer in 3-1 Sabir. Drugov also scores just his second of the season. That was a wicked shot though. Akbar swapped Emil Garipov for Konstantin Barulin after 20. And they get a lucky goal here. Lauris Darsen throws the puck in the slot. It takes several deflections and ends up in the back of the net 3-2. Alexei Tereshenko gets credited with the goal here, and that's his fourth of the season. Shortly after that, Alexei Morozov gets to see Sergei Gaduchenko eye to eye to tie it, and he doesn't. Still 3-2 Siberia. Early in the third now, Akbars is on the power play. Alexei Yumelin passes it along the line to Evgeny Medvedev. Blast scores 3 3. Medvedev is rarely talked about among fans, so it's fair to say he's a little underrated. He's loved by coaching staff both of Akbars and Team Russia. That's his fourth of the season. Regulation ends in a 4 4 tie, no scoring in overtime, so we head to the shootout. Jonas Enlund scores in Sabir's first attempt. Lauris Dadersens ties it up in a beautiful fashion, and a tad later it all boils down to Yarko Eminen's attempt. If he scores, it's over. He goes top shelf, and that's the game. Akbars gets two points, 5-4 shootout final.